This email containing over 50 expletives, which we've concealed, tonight, was sent by one woman to her. Recently, a number of women within their sororities came forward to St. Clair to talk about the segregation that they have experienced while they were part of the group system there. Now, apparently, they have a very serious civil rights because it would be bad for our chapter. Ladies, welcome to the William & Mary Sorority Life introduction video. The Greek community is a prominent part of campus life at the College of William and Mary. Thanks to the portrayal of sororities in the movies, on television, and in other media, many of you most likely have preconceived stereotypes of what it means to be in a sorority. The truth is, I am existing in an organization that is historically racist, historically homophobic, historically elitist, and super freaking gendered and heteronormative. With the founding of Phi Beta Kappa at the college in 1776, William and Mary became the birthplace of Greek letter organizations. Since that time, fraternities and sororities, along with their values and opportunities, have flourished at the college and across the country. It's founded for, it was founded for straight, white, Christian, upper class people to be elitist about that. And I mean, it's good that it's changed. Everything is so heteronormative. Um, down to the Mixer theme. It's the purpose of the Mixer. Um, and if it's to make friends and meet new people and have a good time, then it doesn't matter what the gender of people you hang out with. And if the reason is so that, you know, people have more romantic prospects, then we should probably reevaluate Mixers. First date party was by the mister for your sister. And um, <laughs> I'm a new member and I don't know like anyone ever, but like, can you just like, she was like, does that make you uncomfortable? I was like, it makes me a little uncomfortable. Traditions for the sake of tradition is bullshit. <laughs> Like, a fraternity asks a sorority to homecoming, and then they have to plan every event. It just was like so 1950s, like just wait around and hope that, you know, someone's going to ask you to the dance. You know? They're not for people who are queer, they're not for people who are already in a relationship. Is the overall focus on, like, meeting boys, or is it on getting as much out of this, like, social organization, like, social sisterhood that you know, that we chose to be a part of. It's interesting because we focus so much on sisterhood and then like this whole social aspect of it is so focused on like male to female relationships. It's like I do think about how I present my gender a lot more when I'm around my sorority than I'm around other people. Like they don't want this, they don't want the stereotypical gay, they want the gay straight passing. When I came out as gay to my sorority, I felt like I had to be like kind of more femme to like overcompensate. Why do you join it if you're, you know, if you're gay? Like, where is this space for you? I do identify as a woman. I'm someone who likes friendships. I like, you know, cultural ideas. I like education. There's nothing in this mission statement that is not for me. Someone in the chapter, like, yelled at her while drunk, like, you don't belong here. When they were, like, doing the big matches up, so, like, she was, you know, take, she was getting a big. And when they called the bigs, they said, hey, are you okay with having a lesbian as your little? Stories like that make me feel very alienated. Um, being like, okay, well, you know, maybe life isn't for gay people, but, you know, we sure as hell take over at William & Mary. You know? It is really disheartening to me to know that there are people in my sorority, because I'm sure there are, and in every sorority that would be really uncomfortable about my, with my sexuality and don't want to hear about it and, and wish it wasn't the case and don't think it's natural or whatever. On this campus, there needs to be more breaking down of the stereotypes that like you need to be like a straight white girl to be in Greek life and that's the only way that you're going to get something out of it because I just think that's so not true um, and I think that people need to be comfortable 